Hey and welcome to this tutorial. In this video, we're having a look at creating a dynamic repeater with the help of Jet Engine plugin. Let's go to Jet Engine Meta Boxes and press Add New so we can create a new Meta Box. Let's call it Repeater. And here you choose the type of content that you want this Meta Box to be applied to. Let it be Post. And here you can choose the post types. I'll go with Post. And here I will add a new meta field. I'll call it repeater as well. And here in the type of a repeater, I will choose the type repeater. And in the repeater fields, I now will have these three fields and I will give it the title for each of them. The first one will be link the next one will be image with the type of content as media and the third one will be description and the type will be text as well so here is our dynamic repeater what you need to do here is to memorize the IDs of each of these fields because you will need them a little later. Or you can just leave this tab opened when you go and add your dynamic repeater to your pages in Elementor. For now, we'll just press Add Meta Box. And now our, our new Meta Box has been created. Now let's go to Posts and open the list of the posts that we have. Now let's choose any post and go to edit. Because first off, we need to create these custom fields for the repeater to work. Here you have this new window saying repeater and you press add item. And here you can add your items. Let's just fill in these fields. Let this be. Now we're finished here. Let's go and update. And then we need to press this button saying edit with Elementor. And it will take us to Elementor editor. When I'll scroll down where I can create a new section and here in the elements panel, I'll search for dynamic repeater widget and I'll drag it onto a new section. Here I'll choose the source, it will be my meta field that I have created. And here you'll need a little help of Jet Engine documentation. If you open it, go to Jet Engine widgets and find dynamic repeater. It will give you a detailed instruction on how to apply macros to display your repeater. So first off, we we'll need to display text and our first item was text. We need to remember the ID of that field. It was link. So I just type it in, in the place of the word name. And here it pulls out the items with the ID that I have typed in. The next item that we need to display is image. So let's go to Jet Engine documentation. Find display and images, posts, and galleries with a repeater. Scroll down and just select the HTML code that we will need. Go back to Elementor Editor, paste it in here, and just replace this name with the one that we need. In our case, it was and here we go. It pulled out the images that we have added to our custom fields. Now the next item was text as well, so we'll just 
copy this code, paste it here, and replace the name link with the name description. Like so, here you have your basic setup. Here you can choose the HTML tag, so it is possible to create tables within the dynamic repeater. You can paste before items and after items markup. And you also have the style tab where you have the alignment settings and the direction settings so you can place your dynamic repeater items in a horizontal and then vertical axis. You can also tweak the topography settings. When you go to items and you can set the size for your items, like items width and height, their behavior on normal and then hover, color, background color, border type and border radius. Let's also add padding to add some space around our items. And if you want to add a delimiter between the items to separate them, you can also tweak the look of the delimiter itself here in the style tab. Now here we go, we have added a dynamic repeater with the help of dynamic repeater widget that goes with Jet Engine plugin. If this video was helpful, leave your thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.